Hi, and welcome back to CNTV. I'm Sam, and with me is Izzy. Hey, Izzy, how well do you know your St. Patrick's trivia? I'm pretty good with it. Let's see what Olivia found out about the rest of the school and their knowledge of St. Patrick's Day. Hi, I'm Olivia with CMTV, and we're doing St. Patrick's Day trivia. Kaylin, how many leaves does a shamrock have? Three. <laughs> Which country is St. Patrick the patron state of? Ireland. What color is newly associated with St. Patrick's Day? Ooh, that's a good one. Green? Changing things up a bit, in February, the varsity girls basketball team won their first round of playoffs against Southampton by a blowout score of 58-30. to 30. It was a strong effort by the entire team and a successful season for them. In the elementary school, they had trivia night. Four students from Miss Molina's fourth grade class won. Ryan Dalton, Alex Castro Tapia, Aria Lagan, and Allison Galindo. Our student, Ryan Dalton, who won the Clayton Huey Spelling Bee, participated in the next level of competition for the Scripps Spelling Bee in February. Either. Congratulations, that's amazing. Moving to the middle school on February 11th and 12th, the Center Merchers Middle School Drama Club performed High School Musical Junior. This year, they had a live middle school and high school pit band play the music for the show. Performers worked hard for four months to put on this production and their hard work really paid off. The performers were so excited to be working with the live pit band and can't wait for next year. Moving on to the high school, Team 4458 Robotics competed in their first scrimmage for 2022 at Bethpage High School. The students, with the help from Mr. Roy, worked long nights to get the robot to perform a variety of tests like climbing, a pier, and shooting foam balls at a target. During the competition, Team 4458 had no issues and ran almost perfect the entire day. We look forward to how they do and their regional competition in April. Moving right along, here's another round of college commits. Hey, I'm Sam. I'm here from CMTV. I'm here with Nate and Zarello. So, what school are you going to? I'm going to be going to SUNY Oneonta. What are you going to be studying there? I'm going to be going for engineering. Awesome. And are you going to be playing any sports there? I'm going to be on the tennis team. That's awesome. Hi, I'm Richie Spivak here with Caitlin Nowak. Caitlin, where are you going to college? University of Pennsylvania. What are you majoring in? Criminology. And uh, are you playing a sport there? Yes, women's lacrosse. Congratulations, Caitlin. Thank you. Hi, I'm Sam here from CMTV. I'm here with Jovi. So what school are you going to? I'm going to Marist. Are you going to be playing any sports there? I'm going to be playing women's lacrosse. Nice. Uh, what are you going to study? Animation. Awesome. <laughs> Congratulations and good luck with your college choices. One of the new sports for 2022 is women's flag football. Our own Reef Pasolo had an opportunity to interview Coach Amato. Let's see how it went. Hello, I'm Reef Pasolo Richards with CMTV. I'm here with Mr. Amato. Can you uh, tell me about girls' flag football? Yeah, of course, Reef. First, I just want to say thank you very much for having me on. It's, it's really, I appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, girls' flag football. I'm going to be the new head coach for our uh, new uh, inaugural girls' flag football season. So the way it works is... The New, York New York Jets and Section 11. 11 to introduce uh, girls flag football to a bunch of schools on Long Island. Fortunately, Sedema Richis was able to adopt a team. So yeah, it's going to be, because it's a new year and because it's something that's just being brought on, it's going to be very much a work in progress. Like It's going to be like we're building the plane as we're flying it type of thing. Um, but right now we're having uh, a ton of girls come down to our open gyms. Uh, we're all having a ton of fun. Uh, girls who are playing spring sports already are more than welcome to join as well. In fact, the season was set up so that girls of all seasons, who girls who play sports in all seasons can certainly participate. Um, it's really going to be a ton of fun. Uh, we're going to look to enjoy ourselves and have, just have a blast. And when does the uh, season start for the flag football? So the official first practice is going to be March 21st. Um, I believe the first game is going to be on April 11th. It's going to be a Monday night at 7 p.m., so it's going to be a little Monday night football under the lights. It's really going to be a blast. Before that, on April 2nd, we're going to have a jamboree, which uh, Section 11's putting together a thing where all the girls of Suffolk County, all the girls' flag football teams can come together, 
really just enjoy themselves, get to know each other, stuff like that. There's going to be seven games. Uh, the championship is actually going to be played at the New York Jets training facility. It's going to be on June 4th. It's really going to be a ton of fun. Uh, the way the season works is, of course, it's going to start with opening day on Monday night. And each team in Suffolk County, there's eight teams, so us and then seven others, we're each going to play each other once. And then the top four teams are going to move on to the playoffs. And then, of course, the remaining two are going to play in the Suffolk Championship. And the winner is going to go on to the LIC at the New York Jets training facility. Well, thank you for joining us. And that's a wrap. This past February, the Peer Leadership Club held its annual PSI Love You campaign. Mr. Winslow is the advisor of the club, and we asked John Tell to interview him regarding how it went. Let's take a look. I'm here with Mr. Winslow to tell me about PSI Love You Day. Can you tell me what PSI Love You Day is about? Absolutely. So PSI Love You Day was about uh, bringing mental health awareness uh, to the school district uh, through all these activities that we did. Um, we had students uh, fill out and make hearts, purple hearts that they wrote um, notes of inspiration on. Um, and then we hung them throughout the hallways. We also had them do kindness grams. Um, and then we also showed a short video from PSI Love You Day, which started with two girls on Long Island who had lost their father to suicide. Um, and it ended up becoming an awesome activity for the day, and we hung hearts throughout all the hallways um, that kids could go up and read notes of inspiration, and basically, you know, trying to open up lines of communication uh, so that students feel comfortable talking about any mental health issues they may be going through. Um, and next year, we hope to make it bigger and better. Uh, last year was the first year we did it, and it went pretty well. And this year, I think it went phenomenal. Um, and then the best part of it was we took all the hearts, and we donated them to um, one of the teachers who was running a program to get provide um, backpacks and clothing and stuff to children that are uh, involved in the CPS um, organization as far as you know being taken out of their homes so those hearts uh, were delivered to them also thank you mr. Winslow that club always puts people first and definitely puts smiles on people's faces at times when they needed it most while on the subject of needing things most here's Dennis with an interview of the brew crew miss Spillett miss Seegerson and the school store so what's new with the brew crew well we started making breakfast for the teachers in the morning what is a favorite creamer? A favorite creamer would have to be our specials of the month. Like we have Snickers, Irish cream, and what else have we done? Um, we've done like the Thin Mints. And Dunkin' Donuts? And Dunkin' Donuts, yeah. All right, and can you tell me about the Blue Crew breakfast? We started making egg bites. Um, we are continuing to make our chocolate chip and oatmeal raisin cookies and we also started making banana nut muffins and uh, chocolate chip muffins and blueberry muffins and we also offer oatmeal thank you for the interview thank you all right so what's new in the school store so i didn't make that up yep so for lacrosse oh this for the um, lacrosse Team, we're selling the team. We can boss Gatorade protein bars, Gatorade protein bars, and protein drinks, and protein drinks. We've also added, in addition to the clothing that we have, we added a brand new sweatshirt for twenty-four dollars. This is our brand new one. We still have the black hoodies. We still have the three-quarter tees and long sleeve. So we've added a couple of new um, sweatshirts and clothing products. We're also added what else? Oh, the um, the um, poo. The brew crew yeah. makes brew what? Oh, uh, make cookies. Cookies and muffins, and they're selling great, right? Yeah. So, what's the most popular item students can buy? What's the most popular? Pop. Yeah. What do we sell the most of? I think Gatorade drinks. Yeah, give me Gatorade. And water. Give me water. All right. So, are there any fundraising plans for the school store? So, the art club came to us the other day. They did a Christmas fundraiser. Now, they're going to start a fundraiser for Ukraine. They're going to be make, making pins and ribbons, and all the money is going to go to buy things for the families in Ukraine. We're also doing the Brew Crew fundraiser. We're doing lacrosse. 
We have Dippin' Dots for um, the other lacrosse team, the females lacrosse team, and the males lacrosse team. So any fundraiser that's happening in the school, we support. Thanks for any viewing. I hear there are some new things being offered. The brew crew in school store are two things I need more in my life. That wraps it up here for CNTV. If you're enjoying these newscasts, please subscribe to both our YouTube channel and Instagram. Add Santa Marcia TV. For CNTV, I'm Sam. And I'm Izzy. Let's make today a great day and enjoy the warmer weather. I'm going to narrate this. Ready? Chloe's going in. She's going in. Oh, oh. Hello. Yeah, Ella.